Good afternoon. In this video, we're going to add a cable and dress out to this LR Mate 200ID 7L robot with a welding torch on top of it as the end of arm tooling. We're going to add the cable to the end of the welding torch up to a spring. Then we're going to run a couple articulation movements, see how the actual cable articulates along with the movement. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a mount to joint number three. So over here where you see the actual robot, let's right click on it. Let's go add dress out and we're going to add it to joint three and we're going to utilize the CAD library. Then we're going to go to arc and you'll find down in the arc area, there is the torch cable. And then there's our torch cable. So now we need to move it into the correct place for our robot. So I'm going to move it down below, bring this down. And we make it look like it's on top of our robot. So we know negative 268. And the Y actually looks pretty good. So right in that place looks good. So then I'm going to lock location line. And we can change the mass of this. This is nowhere near 10 kilograms. So we're going to probably say right around 2 kilograms in mass. If you know the actual weight, that's where you put the actual weight of it. It'll help with the motion of the robot so it can calculate the velocity and the speed in which the robot can move. We're going to hit OK. So now that we have our dress out on top, we're going to add our cable. So let's go to the robot once again, right click on it, add dress out, and we're going to add it to joint number six, and we're going to go to cable. So side cable, we're going to add the location one is going to be joint number six, and location two is going to be joint number three. So we're going to put it somewhere up here. So let's switch this to joint three. And we're going to keep these as default. And right now, the length and radius, let's just leave it at that. So now when we hit apply, you'll see the actual cable show up. There's our cable. Now we need to move it into position. So the first movement I'm going to do is location number two here. So I'm going to go edit on screen. And I'm going to bring this up to where my cable is. Now. The triad does play a huge role in this. So if you look at this right now, the Z is pointing in this direction. Watch what happens when I use current location and then I hit apply. Watch how the cable goes in that direction. So if we want the cable to go backwards or towards the back, we need to rotate this so that the Z is to the back. So let's go edit on screen again and let's go in the W and go negative 90, which pushes the Z towards the back. And now you'll see that our cable is to the back. Now, if we want to move it just a hair bit more past our spring, so it looks like the spring is actually holding onto it, use current, apply. So there we go. So now our spring is holding onto our cable. And let's move the other side of the cable to the end of our torch. So let's go edit on screen, move it down to the torch. And remember that the Z axis is the way that the actual cable is going to come down. So if I hit apply or use current, apply, see what it looks like. There we go. So now we need to rotate this so that it matches our end of our torch right now. So I'm going to go edit on screen and I'm going to rotate this in the P direction. And I found that 22 and a half is pretty close to what it needs to be. And hit apply. So I rotated 22 and a half and that looks pretty close there. So now let's actually edit on screen and bring it down. So that's inside of our torch. And I'm also going to bring this down just a hair bit on the side. Current. And when I hit apply, it should be centered. There we go. Or pretty close to being centered. We could probably move it up just a hair bit, but that's fine. Okay, so now I have my cable in place. So this is now where you can pick your diameter. So if I pick my diameter, 40 diameter, because it says radius. So if I want to be the 20 millimeter diameter, I'm going to go 10. And when I hit apply, you'll see that the length gets it's a little bit out of whack. So then we can change the length of his so that it's not so kinked here. 
so maybe something like 800 and it gets kinked even more so we may have to change this around a little bit so instead of 800 um, let's make our radius to be 15 millimeters which makes it 30 and then we have a little bit thicker cable which looks exactly like uh, our actual welding torch if I actually would measure it then I would put the actual dimension in it but I don't have access to that right now so I'm going to just guesstimate on that being 30 millimeters and I made the length of this 800 if you make it a little bit longer you can see what happens say 820 and it just goes a little bit more kinked out so it does the calculation on what in theory should happen with the cable so we'll just leave it at 800. You can also change the color of this so if you want to change the color say that your cable is black I can go to black and I can hit apply and there is our black area and we can go to physical parameters and here's where we can change things so th if this is a fairly rigid cable gravity is really not going to have too much effect on it but if it's a small thin cable that maybe it'll be a little bit heavier we can actually change gravity's effect on it so we can go up here and hit apply and you'll see it kind of starts sagging so as it goes down so if it's not a rigid cable like most welding cables are then you can change the gravity effect on that and see how it actually reacts when it's moving from place to place and we can also look at what is the spring portion of it so it does it spring back how much does it spring back so it's fairly soft so it doesn't spring back as much and different other parameters extension limit so it allows it to detect breaks if it does or kinks so if I go back to general here you can see now we can also suppress buckling if we need to so we're going to hit OK and now we have our cable Let's run a motion program to see how this works. Okay, so I already created a program, just kind of basic movement. My tester. And then we'll be able to see this run and watch the cable move. And there you go, dress out and cable creation. So you can see the articulation of that cable as you run through the program. If you notice how it kind of hesitated as it was running through the program, it's just because my computer is not fast enough to actually keep up with the calculations to do the full bend. If you have a lot better processor, a lot better RAM, um, it'll be a lot smoother on that motion. So that is cable and dress out.